Hey, what is up, people? Man Junk Boy here, and welcome to week 9. I believe. I hope it's week 9. Week 9 of the Valhalla Pokemon League, and we are facing Eric of the Bristol Bidoofs. It should be. I hope it is, at least. If it's not, I apologize, Eric. But anyway, let's move on. And yeah, we, he has a scary roster, and. We'll see what he wants to bring. I'm gonna choose music 11 and hit battle start. Now let's see what he chose to bring. He has brought Crobat, okay. It's Crobat. Default Crobat, I believe, so it's Crobat. Sableye, which is his Mega. He has Garchomp. He has Jirachi, Oregon 2, and Heliolisk. Now if you don't, let's see, my lower screen, here you got my team, my Megarodactyl, my leftover substitute Keldeo, my Belly Drum Slurpuff, first time I'm using this, uh, my offensive, my specially offensive Mew with the leftovers, my choice Specs Excelgore, and my Toxic Spikes Dragalge. There you go. Uh, now let's see. A good lead against him would be. Set up my Toxic Spikes wouldn't be too bad. That forces him to defog. I can also hit. Hit him pretty hard with my choice specs, Greninja. I can also go... Mm -mm. Oh shit, running out of time already. Um, let's see... I'm gonna bring out my... My Garodactyl, actually. Because there's not many things that is faster than him, and... Hopefully we can get a powerful attack off, otherwise we just have to switch out. Couldn't really think of any possible lead for him. He could lead out with... Yeah, possibly anything. We'll see, he leads off with his Mega Sableye to get his... Uh, yeah. Get his Mega Evolution off and get a pretty good knockoff on him as, on as well. Now oh, I just realized I put the wrong item on you. It shouldn't be leftovers. It should actually be Colberberry. Col yeah, that is going to bite me in the butt. Crap. Oh well. And his, yeah, his nickname is 626. That's pretty good. I believe that's his Pokedex number. Oh, that couldn't be his Pokedex number. It could be his total... No, not total base. That, I don't know. Uh, Megarodactyl against a Mega Sableye, I believe he wants to burn this to burn to burn me potentially. Now a foul play would do a lot to me, and Stone Age would only do about 50%. Now I can predict the Will O Wisp and switch out into my Mew to get the synchronize off. That would be pretty good. Could also just knock off my Mew. Now, what would knock off do to Mew? And some leftovers and not. I think I'm still gonna go out into Mew. Got 12 seconds. I'm just gonna change this to 50. Yeah, a knock off would do 50%. But after that, I believe I can potentially roost, stall him out a bit. If it goes for knock off, that is. I don't think it would go for knockoff against my Aerodactyl, I just believe he wants to burn it. Yeah, he's gonna Mega Evolve, which means he's going to stay in. And we'll see if I get this somewhat correct. He's gonna go for the Ice Punch, actually, okay. Coverage there for him. Now he's gonna see my leftovers. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, wait, I'm zero attack EVs. IVs. So, yeah, that's only go for foul play. 
Er, oh well. How much would a Dazzling do to you since I have Dazzling Gleam? I move pull on this is Psychic, Shadow Ball, Dazzling Gleam and Roost. So let's see how much a Dazzling Gleam would do to you. Around 40% if he's split defenses. But yeah, there's absolutely nothing I believe. I want to take this knockoff, inco incoming knockoff. I believe I'm just gonna go for Dazzling just to see what he wants to do. I can get some good damage off him, uh, out of him. And if he wants to go for knockoff, so be it. I should have Cold Barberry, but I totally forgot and put leftovers on him instead. But oh well, I believe I'm gonna eat Dazzling Gleam anyways. Just to get some good damage out, out on, on him and see what kind of set he is. That does. And that is a crit. That is not a crit. You see attack invested. Because I had more than 65% HP. See attack invested. See I did. 40 to 48 percent. Yeah, it could be max HP, max attack. Perhaps. Adamant, maybe? I don't know. Really interesting. Really interesting set. Now I could scare him out with Slurpuff, I believe. what I do. Mega Sableye, let's say... A Play Rough would do 61 to 62%. Yeah, I could scare him up with that and just double out into anything. Oh well, Mew is gone, that's too bad for me. What he wants to go out into then I believe Oregon 2. Yeah, I'm gonna go out into my pink beast. My slurp off. And I'm just gonna go for play rough. Now Jirachi will eat this up. But I don't think he can afford me setting up. He could also go out into Crobat. But I get some cheap damage out of Crobat if that's the case. Slurpuff to Crobat and I believe he's going to be physically defensive or anything. He's, he's going to be max HP at least. My play rough would do around 15% only, but I can't afford this one to stay in. I'm gonna get some nice chip damage out of anyone, but I believe Crobat is his play to make. If you switch it out, I get a... He, he risks the belly drum. But I believe Crobat just wolves me anyway. If he over predicts, I'm just still gonna go for play rough, I believe. I'm still gonna go for play rough. He sends out Fortuna, he's Jirachi. Let's see how much this does. Around 10%, I believe, and it's leftovers. So it's Jirachi. I believe physically defensive impish maybe and to 11% yeah that's about it and leftovers that sounds about right I know for sure he's not speedy at least now, what would Jirachi wanna do Wow, 
Wow, just looking at my team, he can literally just spam psychic type moves. Wow. That's not good at all. That is not good at all. How much would Aerodactyl take? Um, Girachi. And you should be physically defensive. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Actually. If he has psychic type moves, I'm gonna go out into my Keldeo if he goes for the Iron Head. Sets up his rocks, okay. I could have gotten a free switch into anything, but yeah, not easy to know. Set up his rocks, nice, nice. Now... I'm just gonna assume he's physically defensive. I mean, the way he took that play rough... We could risk a Scald Burn here, and really, uh, yeah, he could go out into Heliolisk. Would he, so the, so Secret Sword would be the play. Would he stay in? Yeah, if he has any, say, what did he go for? He went for Stealth Rocks, yeah, so he, I don't know if he's, let's say he has Zen Headbutt. How much would that do to me? That would do 61 to 72 percent. Ouch. But yeah, if he has that, but I'm gonna go for Secret Sword. Let's see. Wow, that did more than I thought it would. Oh, sh sorry, shock. I should have thought about that. So yeah, he's specially oriented. So he is not impish, he's bold. But that... Oh, I don't know. That secret sword did more than I thought it would be do. Yeah, I could go for a another secret sword, or I could go for... He would take me out, and Keldeo is pretty good against Paragon 2, I believe, with the secret sword. Otherwise, I don't think... I don't think it would do much. Also, just go for Scald. And perhaps Nag Burn. Yeah, and if he wants to predict that and go out into Crowban, I can Snag a Burn on that as well. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, I could Snag a Burn on this. Which I don't. 
and this mon is faster than me, I know. Hmm. So would you go for? Yeah, you wouldn't go for Steel Wing. I could just go out into Aerodactyl. And take this Brave Bird. So I believe it was the Brave Bird. Could also Super Fang. Predicting a switch? Would he be. Would he, would he risk that? Going for Super Fang? And then I can take him out with a. With a Scald? I don't know. thing is I don't outspeed him yet with Aerodactyl. I still don't. Since I'm not Mega Evolved and I've speed speed creeped Crobat just for this. Just for this game. Nothing wants to come in on anything. Yeah, I believe I'm going to go out into Aerodactyl too. I, I think he's going to... He could U-turn as well. He goes for Brave Bird. Alright, alright. Let's see how much this does. That did a lot. Yeah, I know he has a BB Brave Bird. Now another Brave Bird, I believe, will take me out even if I Mega Evolve. That would just be stupid. My skull did around 50%, so yeah, I could have gotten a high roll there, or he's not max HP. But can I risk? Um, let's see. 22 to 26%. That is 42 max. If that's the case, he can't take me out. I can Mega Evolve, and if he wants to predict a Stone Edge, who do, who do you go out into? You go out into Hirachi. Should I just Earthquake predicting a switch? That's bold. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Just because. <laughs> I stayed in. <laughs> okay. Well, joke's on me. He could do turn as well. He's not max speed. Wow. Wow, he just sacrificed it. Life Orb as well. Didn't see that before. Nice! I lost Megarodactyl as well. He's not max speed. Wow. So I can just go out into... I can safely go out into uh, Eldio then. What speed do you have? I have 170 right now. 70?
that incorrect? Should he have 170? I got 30 seconds, I need to check this. Did I really mess up Keldeo as well? He should have 170. Or, oh, I don't know. If he's not max speed, I believe I can just take him out with another gold. I didn't think he was max speed. Wow. I didn't think he wasn't max speed, I should say. Then I can just go for a safe scold. Did he speed creep my Keldeo? I don't know. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Fun. Fun. So. He wasn't max speed, but he wasn't... He is invested still. Oh, that just threw me... So off. That just threw me so off. So my regular Aerodactyl... Adamant... ...was 181. So he's slower than 181. But he's faster than Keldeo, so I believe he's speed crept, speed creeped Keldeo, so he's 177. Hmm, fun. And what can I lock myself into with with you? I'm gonna get. Mm, I don't like this at all. But oh well, oh well. Once Crobat is out of the way, I possibly can do something later. I'm gonna go out into my ninja. And I'm choice picks. So should I lock myself into... He resists Bug Bus times 4, he resists Giga Drain times 4, he resists Sludge Bomb. I have Hidden Power Ice, 4 Garchomp. Would he preserve this? It's a fast defogger if I get my Toxic Spikes off. Lord. So I could have just taken him out with Aerodactyl. Well, I believe I could have played that a little bit better. Bug Bus is still... Bug Bus should still take him out. So he's gonna withdraw. If he goes to Garchomp. Lord Bertolet. That is the... Garchomp! I'm gonna go for Bug Bus. And that is a 2-hit KO. Are you Scarf? If you're Scarfed... And I lose, since I've sped crept the... The... Crowbat. Well, I can't switch out. Well, no. Earthquake is the... No, Earthquake won't take Ninja out, I believe. If it's Choice Scarf, then Bug Buzz is the safe bet, I believe. Yeah. Just gonna go for it now. Yeah. He is Scarf. Nice. So I'm gonna get 5 out. Fun. Can I sweep with my... Can I sweep with my... What if his choice Scarf? How much would... Uh, 
Um, let's see, where's Slurpuff? Slurpuff, there we go. And he is... Archomp. Choice Scarf. The Stone Age would do 40 to 47%, so that wouldn't pop my Citrus Berry. But my... My belly drum will. Is that the play to make? I believe so. What else is there to do? Yeah, I'm just gonna go for it now. The the battle is practically over, but I'm still gonna try to do something. And if he's Adamant Choice Scarf. The Stone Edge would do around 50% so he could pop my Citrus. But yeah, I'm just gonna go for the Belly Drum. He actually switched out into Fortuna, which is the Jirachi. And I'm going to Belly Drum. Now let's see. Jirachi, you should be physically defensive, and this Drain Punch should do 47 to 56 percent, and your Iron Head, if you're, n you should be physically defensive. If you're not. Yeah, and your Iron Head would only do 63 to 75%. So I could take you out with two. And that is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to do to do that at least. And whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! That did so much more than I anticipated. And Flash Cannon takes me down to a very low level. But yeah, I'm gonna... Drain Punch is still a safe one. Because Play Rough could miss. And Facade is not stab and resisted. And if he wants to go out into... Uh, Mega Sableye, so be it. I'm still gonna Drain Punch. I get some... I could have gone for Play Rough now. Yeah, he's got, just gonna sacrifice his his crowbar. And I'm gonna turn the vibration off on my phone just because it's irritating. Let's see who he wants to send out. I can't remember, do I outspeed? I should outspeed Choice Scarf. Um, let's see, I wanna... Wait, I wanna... Turn my vibration off, there we go. Away with you. If I remember this correctly, I'm just gonna... Pick up my phone again. <laughs> yeah, I just threw it away. And I'm gonna pick it up again. And I'm gonna see, cause max speed on... You should be one... 69, and if I take that times 1.5, that is 253. And I am jolly, so I max out. I have my unburden boost, so I am 133. That that's two. Th that's 266, so I should be able to outspeed this no problem. And a drain punch should take you out, not not risking any miss. Take the rough skin, but I get the but I get some health back. I think I gain more health than I lose. I believe. I don't think I can risk the miss on play rough. If I do that, I potentially lose. So I'm gonna go for drain punch. I know I would speed him, and I know I think I know that. Yeah, rough rough skin goes second. Nice, nice. 
Ross can go second. So I gained more health than I, lo than I lost. That's good. So both Garchomp and Crobat is gone. And Jirachi is almost gone. So let's see who he wants to send out. I'm faster than anything. I have speed crept, so I'm faster than Choice Scarf Heliolisk. So I should be able to outspeed that as well. Now he sends out PP, which is Porygon, and he's going to trace the Unburden. Okay, well, he, he should have known I'm Unburden. Let's see, Porygon. Porygon 2. What are you? Should be defensive. Physically defensive. And my drain punch still does 72 to 86%. And a try attack would only do 44. And I will regain more health than he would do to me. So I am just gonna go for Drain Punch. And that is, yeah, approximately that. And I gain a lot of health back. Nice. Yum yum. And try attack would do. Oh, he's getting. He's trying to get that 30% something which he doesn't get. Alright. So there's super safe. It's super safe to go for Drain Punch. And the Porygon 2 is gone. Nice, nice. Now he just has Jirachi, which has really little health left. Heliolisk, which I would speed and take out, I believe. Now oh, praise the sun, it's the Heliolisk. <laughs> praise the sun. Are you solar power? No, it could be solar power. You sh should be dry skin, but could be solar power. Now, if you're. I'm just gonna check. Um, Heliolisk. How much would you do to me? Your focus sash. Your strongest attack is Thunderbolt something. I gain almost almost all my health back, so I should be able to take any hit you want to do to me. So it's pretty safe to go for Drain Punch. And you're not, I believe. Yeah, you're not focus session. Right, right. So Heliolis is gone. And he's going to send out Sableye. So does this mean I... If I hit this, I win? I'm just gonna check how much it does. Since I have n no prior experience to slurp off. We get Sableye. Say your max defense. Impish. Play rough does 46 to 55% so he has the chance. He has the chance to survive this. But what would he go for? Can't go for knockoff. He could go for foul. Foul play would no wait, no wait, no wait, no wait. Foul play, yeah, a foul play would take me out if he survives this. Hopefully, I take him out with player off. I hit. Oh, I hope I hit. I hit. Do I take him out? I do. I do. Nice. And I believe I have swept an entire team. I have swept an entire team with Slurpuff. <laughs> wow. And yeah, Drain Punch. I'm just gonna go for Drain Punch. And wow. <laughs> I actually swept him. 
I didn't think I could. I just swept him with slurp off. My pink beast came through. My pink beast came through. Not bad at all. Thank you so much, Eric, for the game. I didn't really think I could win the, that one. I'm just gonna save this one for shits and giggles. Yeah, thank you for the game. Wow. I totally underestimated Slurpuff's power. Wow. Well, Eric, I believe you have a YouTube channel, so if you have, I will link that in the description below. Go ahead and show some love to Eric. Oh, yeah, he has a... He has one. He has one. Go show some love to Eric if you haven't... If you haven't seen him before. Show him some love. And a subscription. And... Yeah, <laughs> Slurpuff is, is the new mascot maybe, I don't know. But yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. Hopefully I will see you next time. Go the bearded behemoths. Have a good day.